Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Who's there? A friend of the temple. Floarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. We are betrayed. Draw a sword, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm. Another hand is at work here. Oh. The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masayev, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. <laughs> We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grand Master, I will. Hold the bridge! Hold! Dad, I have to take a different way.
Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were... Let's get a sniffer running. If Obstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys already have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, Father. Il va se rompre. Garde, attrapez-les. Don't even think about moving. Quickly, quickly. going on? These are for His Royal Highness, not the likes of you. Do you know what the penalty is for stealing? Got you now!
Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Monsieur Franklin, I Keep sincerely up. hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of hey, the father, we should all be called Come parents. here, girls, now. Father? So you stoop the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. Ah! I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go! Fetch the marshals! Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor! I say. Sorry. Pardon, madam. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please excuse him, he's not housebroken. Thick-headed blacksmith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! knows when to admit defeat, Victor.
there, my friend. And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshalsea would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here. Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. 